Have you ever played Zombotany on Plants vs. Zombies? Well, you should've. The game's nearly 12 years old. But let's say you haven't, for the sake of content. Zombotany, long story short, is basically normal Plants vs. Zombies, except the zombies have the plant abilities that they use against the plants. And the plants have to use their abilities to counter the zombies that are using the plant abilities. Does that make sense? Well, I'm glad that did, because the reason why I'm making this video is because I'm not so sure if you guys know that there's an unused soundtrack for Zombotany. It was in the beta version of Plants vs. Zombies when the game was about to come out, but they didn't use it in the final game. But what if they did? Well, for this video, I'm going to show you both Zombotany 1 and Zombotany 2, what it would be like with the soundtrack. And I know people wanted to see me play Plants vs. Zombies again, but... I know, I do like other content as well, but you gotta love the classics, man. So for this wave, you obviously get Pea Shooters and the Walnuts. Zombotany 1 isn't too bad. What I usually do is just have a normal setup. There's nothing really you can do to, like, not be creative with your layout at all. As a matter of fact, I just go crazy about this. The Fire Torchwood, the Tall Nut, and what else? Uh, nah, walnut, why not? Okay, let's do this. I think the edited music should be in by now. <laughs> you guys enjoying the music? Yes, I do love the Plants vs. Zombies music as much as the next guy. By far. I do want to talk over this video a little bit, but at the same time, I would like to shut up for you to enjoy the music. So maybe I'll speak every now and then. But when the track starts looping, perhaps I'll provide more commentary. Who knows? We shall see what happens. bumpers on this controller <laughs> you can just hear so much clicking for zombotany a good tip is you gotta plant tall nuts or walnuts in any direction or have anybody that will take hits for you know for the sake of your plant defense Especially for the pea shooter guys. With walnuts, you can just go crazy with them. But with the pea shooters, however, uh, you just gotta be a little bit careful. And now they're coming from both directions. That's not good. I'm gonna put that there. Uh, I will. I'll put another one here for now. I uh, might have to put a squash right there eventually. That's eh, not a big deal. It's not a big deal at all. Uh, I should have I should have used the Xbox One controller, but my Xbox One was not working, so I'm using the 360 instead, which is quite unfortunate. But it's okay. We could probably work something out from here. Uh, yes, I'll plan a ton that right there. And then when things are ready, I could start planting more of my defense. I don't think I even need more expensive plants. I'm just using a regular setup. But on Zombotany 2, it starts getting a little bit more wild. It's when, you know, you're on the pool level. You get six rows instead of, you know, five. So this is easy compared to what's going to come up next on Zombotany 2. And also, there's going to be more variety of uh, plant zombies. That's what you're really calling them. I'm not calling them zombies if they have plant heads, you know? <laughs> I think it's about time we have some fun here. Maybe fire it up a little bit with the torchwood. You gotta love that guy. Anybody else? Anyone else at all? I'm trying to make my commentary pr consistent so that you can also hear the music while I talk. <laughs> That's the point of this video, right? 
and we're gonna put something right there okay yeah why not sure I'll put that there just for the hell of it that's cool <laughs> well I guess now they can't get me Oh, you know what? I need to put a repeater in that row, don't I? I have a feeling I do. Either that or perhaps I can use um, a squash for that row. But I want to use the classic way out. Just beat him to death with it. And of course, the, the rows that are the most vulnerable are getting the most attacked. Which is not cool. But yeah, fun fact... When this game was in beta, do you remember the Michael Jackson zombie? Well, it was n it replaced with Disco Zombie over time. My theory is based because, you know, how Michael Jackson passed away in 2009. And this game came out in 2009. So, I get paying tribute to a really cool music artist, but having a reference to him on the year of his death seems like poor taste to the PopCap developers. So I'm pretty sure that's the reason why they took him out. I mean, I mean, I respect that if that's true. I don't know what the real reason is. But based on my theory, that might be true. But uh, yes, I think the Torchwoods are doing a lot of beneficial work here. Oh, can I repair that? Sure, I can. And that walnut down there. Oh, he's a trooper, bro. You gotta reward him. You gotta reward him with something nice. Something like, I don't know, a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> That's what I would want to get. Well, what else would you want besides money? I don't know. I don't think plants really do care about being paid, do they? I don't, I don't think so. That's not exactly the case here. Are they coming up? Oh, oh, there we go. Hey, that's pretty good. Is there anybody else? No one at all? Yeah, they're being melted right here. That's pretty nice. Eh, put Torchwood there too, why not? As for the final wave. This is almost nothing. Why do I get the feeling that the final wave is usually the easiest in Plants vs. Zombies? <laughs> they literally are just pushovers. Even Zombotny Zombies. They just almost don't do anything. <laughs> uh, well, on to Zombotny 2, shall we? So this is going to be a little bit different because, well, we're in a new environment, obviously, and new zombies are a thing. We got the Gatlings, the Tall Nuts, the Squash. Is that legal? Well, anyway, uh, obviously, you got to get a good setup going. I think I'm going to do the same thing just like I did before, but this time I'm going to mix it up just a little bit. Well, when I say mix it up, I mean using the exact same setup. So if it works, it works. <laughs> all right, all right. I got to stop. Got to get that music kicked back in. Let's freaking go. Alright. Oh, did I just... Oh. I don't have the pea shooter, do I? Oh. I probably should use that, but... It's okay. We don't need it. We're gonna live without it. <laughs> I'm a big boy. I don't need tiny peas to save me. Please don't take that out of context. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to build up my economy right over here. And then when that guy shows up, if there's a... Okay, no, they're just going to show up on the same row. Okay, the RNG is actually being nice to me for once. I appreciate that. If only the YouTube algorithm was pretty nice with my RNG. I mean, other videos besides Plants vs. Zombies on my channel don't do much views. Is that a word? Uh, you know what would have been a little bit smarter? If I just planted flowers that were 
you know, in the water because the, the, the guys in the water aren't going to show up first, are they? Yeah, I wasn't too smart about that, was I? Yeah, I, I really got to think these things through. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'll use the potato mine for now. When things start getting a bit crazy, I'll start building up a defense. But for now, I don't see anything wrong with this setup. Oh, uh, unless they show up two at once. That I don't appreciate. Oh, okay. I'm going to put that right there for now. Uh, sure. I probably should have done that with the other guy, but, uh, it's all right. This is where I, I think this is where the repeaters start coming in, right? Yeah, I can probably use a potato mine for that bottom row right now until I, um, eventually get some more fortified defense for, for the other things, right? I'm pretty sure. Let's just pretend like, you know, nothing's happening down there. And they're not actually beating up all my plants. Are they coming from the water now? No, it doesn't look like it just yet. They're not going for the jugular. You know, now to think of it, I'm in a more vulnerable area. Hey, a diamond. I'll be taking that. All right. I, almost every single row is secure. I'm, I'm good with that. But when they start attacking from the water, that might be a bit problematic. Oh! Speak of which, let's just keep him distracted for now until I can plant another thing down there or, you know, whichever works. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, well, that's fun. What if I just put a walnut right here and then I just wait out another one? Unless they're going to throw another curveball at me and just throw another one at me. <laughs> that would suck. Okay. Uh, you're going to hear a lot of clicking because this controller is not too good. Uh, hopefully next time I make a Plants vs. Zombies video, I'm going to be using an Xbox One controller. Is there anybody else going to show up? Anybody at all? If not, I can continue building up my flowers and then putting a repeater down when that time is necessary. I highly doubt anything else will happen. They're not going to send that way prematurely. Oh, they're sending it prematurely. Oh, well, that's, that's good news, right? <laughs> really? Oh, God. Then that means more of them are going to show up with tougher... Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. They're, they're really throwing a curveball for me right now. When's that guy going to blow up? When when do they blow up? I really hope it's not as soon as he hits that. Kill him, please. Thank you. As for the... Oh, God. If he wipes out my entire row, that's going to... Oh, he's going to... He's... Oh, no. Please kill him. <sighs> if he just does nothing but wipe out my entire row, I would have lost it right there, man. I don't know how I'd be able to recover. <laughs> now I just gotta put these torch woods down before anything bad happens. Oh, there's a tall nut. Gotta probably do something about that, right? Well, for now, let's just place this down. And build up some more economy. And then what? I'm stumped. We gotta do something about that guy down there. He's going to destroy it before I can destroy him. I need to think fast. Uh, another one. Or, or, or. Just when that thing dies, I can just replace it. And there you go. Oh, boy. How do you kill this guy? I might need to put a squash there if he somehow gets through. But that doesn't seem like the case just yet. Maybe he'll stall. I really hope. How is it looking? Okay. If it's the Gatling guy, that's not too bad. Everybody else? Uh, I don't like the squash guy. Oh, he's going to destroy that. Oh. Oh. Really? 
I thought that thing had more health. But the squash on my side can't kill the tall nut zombies. So why vice versa? Well, that's just a problem that I can never answer. That's just top 10 things science can still never answer on this game. How wonderful. Uh, the fact that I didn't place it in that column really bothers me. <laughs> it's okay. I don't, I'm not that type of person with OCD. I don't know if a lot of people in the comments are. Apparently people don't like it when I disorganize things. But sometimes it's necessary for the sake of emergency. Is there anybody else showing up? Because if it is, that could be bad. I might need to place something down. I'll, I'll put a walnut down. Maybe right here. And then I can dig this up. Plus a torch wood down. Oh, no, no. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Don't let him get too close. I think when he reaches it, then it's game over. He wipes everybody out. There's no going back after that. That's why I get so scared about those chili bean bomb guys. <laughs> uh, the squash guys are fine, but those guys, these red guys. Oh, no. Okay. He's going to get too close. Oh, is there anything I can do about that? I think he's gonna get- he's gonna kill it. He's gonna kill it. Oh. Oh. I thought he just- as soon as he touches it, he blows up. You know, like the Jack in the Box zombies, like in versus mode. I got pretty lucky right there. I guess he doesn't detonate right away. I never knew that. <laughs> oh, thank the heavens. I was spared. I was spared. <laughs> you can take everything else from my life. Just don't take my dignity. Or my brains. <laughs> I don't know. You know, that the, I think that's the biggest struggle is probably the tall nut guys. But even there, they're not too bad. Because, you know, the torchwoods are pretty much lighting them up. Torchwoods are pretty, like, satisfying. I want to try and use these guys in versus mode. That'd be pretty awesome now to think of it. Oh, I, I just, if they don't blow up right away, those chili bean guys, when do they blow up? Is it at complete random? I hope not. Because if they blow up at an exact wrong time and wipe out completely one of my rows, that's game over for me, right? Oh, here it is. Final wave. Final push! Attack! And dead. Hey, I did it. Oh, well. It's good to be back on this game. I'm obviously not going to play this all the time. But it's a fun game every now and then to come back to. By the time John and Matt do show up, I would love to do more of this game. Or even cover it on different systems. But that's a surprise that I'm going to keep for later. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for showing up to this video. If you do like this content, I'm sure you're going to love the other stuff I do. I need some help with the, with the algorithm on different themed videos, so if you could watch those, I'd appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Thank you all so much for watching, and a big thank you to Lord Punisher for creating this wonderful work of art. And I want to thank my sponsors and patrons of April 2021. Bobox999, Wolfie Plays, Emperor Xtreme, Slade Sala, Harriman, Oliver Lawrence, Cheeseburger Hamburger, Limus, Captain Ufamar, Infinity, Chris Bingham, Shadow Games 123, QOZ, Darkhound420, Pineapple Man, Omega Knight 64, Arcader, Is Salt, Supa, and Epel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you all next time.